Hello there, Dan, the weatherman here. Hey, welcome to 2022. The weather is not slowing down. We're talking heat. We're talking tropical cyclones across much of New Zealand for the course of the week. You can see swirls of cloud to our north, but of course the big thing to point out, one area of cloud to our west, that's tropical cyclone Seth. We're sitting there, there is a big circle, a big mountain warm air and upper ridge in place. So we'll just get the high cloud from that as that starts to shear away. You can see a stream of cloud in the subtropical jet stream. And talking heat with that mountain warm air sitting in place, it's like having a stack of cards. You squeeze them together, squeeze them more and more, and and with that mountain of warm air there, things continue to warm. 30 degree readings, even some low to even middle 30s across parts of the country, until eventually that area of pink, the upper ridge breaks down by the middle part of the week. Notice as well the blue, that was the cyclone, and the upper energy goes away. New systems come in, and by the end of the week, this bend here is an upper ridge. Quieter weather, that's settling in with a southeaster into parts, and with a big upper ridge to western parts of Australia, could see 50 degrees, if you can believe it, to western areas there. Let's get through the week. So that's the cyclone. That is going to slowly shear and fade away. That's our high, but the center of gravity is already going east. Notice the wind flow becomes more of an east to northeast flow. There's one little flick going into Tuesday. Just some showers to northern and eastern areas. A low will slide close, but go away. There's your cooler southerly to the far south and east. One or two showers as we probably go into Thursday and Friday. Then a new high comes in and look to the north. The tropics go into an active phase, meaning there could be something developing. We'll see how it goes. Maybe, I say, at the end of the weekend, and warm offshore flow to Australia. I mentioned 50 degrees. Can you believe it? With that high there, that takes the heat from the interior and boom, puts it west. Look at this. Just temperature-wise, really intense indeed. For us, though, Monday, quiet, fine-looking day. Still temperatures into the lower 30s, central plateau, and a few spots to the interior. Tuesday, we've got a front and a few showers to eastern areas. And by the time we get to Wednesday, you can see this is creeping closer. Flow is a bit more like that. You say, well, where's the big high? It's already gone away and the big mountain, the ridge, the upper ridge has started to fade. So it's still looking fine, but we just start to get more of a cooler flow to easterners. Those are a few showers you can see for Thursday. New high there, he's creeping in. And by the end of the week, look at that, that's coming in. So we all might get a little bit of rain, but not loads this week. You've got a fairly dry situation. You say, well, Where's that cyclone gone? It was sheared away. The leftover low-level moisture went into the Queensland coast, but already by Friday you can see that next thing forming. We will see. Perhaps a new tropical cyclone. Vanuatu, New Caledonia for something for them to watch. And that offshore flow certainly warm across parts of Australia. And the rainfall, not much. Parts of Taranaki may stay dry for the next so, week or so. That's where all the wet weather is. The purple, you can see that's the one. That is that going through there. And just little bits with the easterly and the far south and west as well. And look at this, this is the temperature. For us, some spots add a couple of degrees to these numbers, so you're seeing some upper teens, perhaps uh, well into the 20s, but with that cooler southeaster, see that green coming in? That'll be the cooler change. Still warm spots really from the central plateau northwards as you run in with that southeaster second half of the week. The big thing that jumps out, Look at this, that white there, well into the 40s, could even be a 50 degree reading somewhere in the Northern Territory to the north and west of Australia by perhaps the mid to late part of the week with that fairly keen and hot offshore flow. That's how the weather is looking for now. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.